Um, the very first step is I get in contact with the architect, the designer and with the engineer. We're having a kickoff meeting where we design the panel layout, what BC Passive House is building and what is built on site. The project is in Czechemes in Whistler. It's a four-story building with 24 units where we uh, deliver the exterior walls, the load-bearing shear walls and the subfloor panels, the stairs and the roof panels. Once I get the approved drawings back from the architect and the general contractor, this is when we start ordering the materials and start uh, producing single shop drawings. Um, we have optimized cutting lists as well. From this 3D model himself, we can produce um, material lists for the su uh, wood supplier. We have optimized cutting lists for the production as well to create a minimum waste and as well single panel drawings with the weight on and on top of it loading plants, then there is no surprises. Even on site, we know the crane location, we know what size of crane we need based on the panel weight. And this building has over 200 panels where the average panel is uh, 40 feet long and uh, 12 feet or higher and around 2,500 and 3,500 pounds, what we erect with the uh, outdoor crane on site. Currently we're focused here at BC Passive House on a project with Whistler Housing Authority which is an initiative for affordable housing in Whistler. Building our products with a roof over our head means that we have a controlled environment to assure that our structural components are where we want them to be. Using high-tech equipment and digital systems we can assure that our panels and our systems are built effectively and accurately. Our panelized systems are fully waterproofed in the shop so that when they get to site, we have control over quality for our product on site. So the legacy apartments will be built to the Passive House standard. This is a comprehensive modeling system that has become the gold standard for uh, energy efficiency in construction. A BC Passive House will look after the envelope component of the system. Uh, and the three key principles here are increased thermal insulation, high levels of air tightness, and reduced thermal rigidity. So the Legacy Project uses a double wall system uh, the structural wall is the component that you'll see during the setup phase. Uh, this is a deep stud wall system that is insulated in the shop uh, with cellulose fiber insulation. Uh, and then there will be a secondary wall that is framed on site uh, that will be insulated as well and that will complete the insulation pack of the building. My role here as project manager is uh, to oversee all the various trades involved with the project. Um, we started here at the same time BC Passive started in their factory. Um, while we were building the foundation, working on the concrete, and BC Passive was fabricating panels in the factory. So the first step is to come on site and uh, with survey data install the plates, wood plates on the concrete. Um, to make a very accurate starting point for the panels to be installed. The next step is to bring in the panels and start assembling the building. Obviously it's really nice to do that in good weather, but uh, we have to make arrangements to uh, be able to proceed or at least be able to protect the building during those weather events. <laughs> 